China may have achieved a breakthrough in aerospace technology that could redefine hypersonic weapon design. According to reports, Chinese military scientists have built and tested a prototype missile that can change shape mid-flight. This missile can fly at speeds faster than Mach 5 and adjust its aerodynamic profile while traveling. The development was led by Professor Wang Peng from the College of Aerospace Science and Engineering at China's National University of Defense Technology, also known as NUDT. The details were published in a peer-reviewed journal, Acta Aeronautica at Astronautica Sineca, on 20th October 2025. The missile reportedly features retractable wings that can fold into its body to maximize speed and extend again for better lift and control. If proven operational, this could mark a significant step in balancing speed and maneuverability, two things usually seen as opposites in hypersonic flight. For decades, scientists have struggled to make hypersonic vehicles both fast and controllable. The faster an object moves through the air, the more unstable it becomes. At hypersonic speeds, Mach 5 and above, air friction generates temperatures exceeding 2000 degrees Celsius, which can melt metal and deform structures. Because of these limits, most hypersonic weapons built so far, such as glide vehicles or cruise missiles, have fixed designs. Their flight paths are mostly predetermined, with very limited ability to adjust mid-course. Western aerospace experts long believed that at such speeds, maneuverability and stability could not coexist. But the new prototype from China's NUDT appears to challenge that assumption. This development comes shortly after China showcased the Changjian 1000 or CJ-1000 hypersonic cruise missile during a military parade in September. Although the weapon was displayed inside a sealed launcher, analysts believe it may use similar morphing wing technology. The shape-shifting missile is said to feature retractable wings that can change position while in motion. In its high-speed phase, the wings fold into the fuselage to reduce drag and increase velocity. When the missile needs to turn, adjust altitude or glide, the wings extend again to generate lift and stability. The NUDT research team confirmed that the prototype has passed hardware-in-the-loop ground testing. This type of test connects real hardware, such as flight computers and sensors, to a simulated environment to verify whether the system can respond correctly to real-world conditions. Unlike previous designs with static or simple deployable wings, this missile's wings can shift dynamically. That means the onboard computer adjusts the wing shape continuously depending on speed and trajectory. But doing so at hypersonic speeds is extremely difficult. The air friction can ionize molecules around the missile, creating plasma that interferes with sensors and communications. Also, the constant motion of the wings adds mechanical and thermal stress, making durability a major challenge. The primary goal of this research is to solve the long-standing problem of control at hypersonic speeds. Maintaining stability while changing shape requires high-speed computing and precise algorithms. Wang Pang's team claims to have created a new control algorithm that suppresses a phenomenon known as control chattering. This is when rapid mechanical vibrations disrupt steering, sometimes leading to failure. If this claim holds, it would represent a new level of stability for hypersonic systems. Another goal is to improve flexibility. By changing shape, the missile could perform both high-speed attacks and slower, guided maneuvers, potentially allowing it to strike moving or high-value targets, such as ships or aircraft, with greater accuracy. If fully developed, the technology could go beyond military use. Aerospace researchers suggest that morphing designs could someday enable hypersonic passenger aircraft. Such planes could travel between continents in under two hours. The same principle might also be used in reusable space launch systems, where adaptable wings could help rockets return safely, reducing costs. However, several obstacles remain. Photos of the prototype show visible seams where the wings fold into the body. These gaps could allow superheated air to leak inside, weakening the structure or revealing the missile on radar. Engineers will also need to ensure that the materials used can survive extreme heat without losing strength. As of now, only ground tests have been confirmed. No flight test data or operational deployment has been made public. Still, this development shows how far hypersonic research has advanced. If validated through real-world trials, China's morphing wing missile could redefine how high-speed flight is achieved, not through brute force, but through adaptability.